Okay, so we're trying to write an explicit formula for what says number two, but these are the numbers of the sequence that goes along with number two. So we have the number four, and then six, and then 10, and 18, and 34. So we have to decide what kind of a sequence it is. Is it arithmetic? Is it geometric? Or is it something else? Okay, so how we do this is we try to find a common difference. So from four to six, I'm adding two. And from six to 10, I'm adding four. And from 10 to 18, I'm adding eight. And from 18 to 34, I'm adding 16. So I notice that there is no common adder at the first iteration. Okay, if there is, then you have yourself a linear equation and it's just an arithmetic sequence and you can write the formula from that. So now I'm gonna check my second iteration. So from here, I am still adding two, and then I'm, oh, adding four, and then I am adding eight, and I'm probably, if I follow this pattern, I'm probably gonna add 16. So I still don't have a common adder. So I can look at my next iteration, okay, from here to here, and hopefully you're noticing right away that my adders seem to be repeating. Plus two, plus four, plus eight, plus 16. Plus two, plus four, plus eight, plus 16 plus two, plus four, plus eight, plus 16. Okay, and this is gonna continue on forever and ever and ever. Exponential is the type of equation that we're gonna have that follows this pattern of the same adders over and over and over and over again. And you're never gonna get anything that's constant. So the question is, do you recognize this pattern right here of two to four to eight to 16? And hopefully you recognize that as 2 to the first power, and then 2 to the second power gives you 4, and 2 to the third power gives you 8, and 2 to the fourth power gives you 16. Okay, these are all the powers of 2. So it looks like, uh, let me write that down, 2, and then 4, and then 8, and then 16, and then 32. So that's all of our 2 to the n powers. If I were just having 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, then the equation would be 2 to the n. But I'm not. I notice that the 2 is not a 2, but rather a 4, and I'm finding a relationship between each of these. And I am noticing that it looks like the numbers in my sequence are 2 more than all the numbers from 2 to the n. So that must be my equation for this sequence.